For this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the American Dream Mall located in East Rutherford, New Jersey. If you're somewhat familiar with my channel, you've probably noticed by now that I film a lot of theme parks and museums. I also enjoy filming historic districts and shopping centers occasionally. Some previous examples of this would be the Crystal River Mall or Heritage Village or the historic shops of Jekyll Island. And that's how I ended up here today at the American Dream Mall. This mall has a crazy story behind it. It was originally envisioned by the Mills Corporation back in 2003, but it took close to 20 years to actually build this thing. The grand opening didn't take place until 2019. And even now, as you see me filming this, it's not exactly entirely finished. A great example of this is um, there's this huge staircase that goes up to the fourth floor, but there's no fourth floor. Now on that fourth floor there was supposed to be a movie theater, a giant IMAX movie theater, but the company that was developing that went out of business before the grand opening of this mall. Another example of this would be these huge long corridors that were intended to be lined with stores, but there's no stores, it's just all blank walls. And that's because this mall was designed in a different era. You know, when they were envisioning this back in 2003, it was before people were buying things online, and they built this massive 3 million square foot mall, and people don't really shop this way anymore, but that's because this place took 20 years to, to pretty much build. The absurdity of this mall is kind of why I love it. It's just this crazy capitalistic idea and it's just so over the top that it's, it's, it's basically like a tourist attraction. You go and see it just for the spectacle. And despite the, the mall shortcomings, they are doing pretty well. Um, as of the, the time I'm recording this video, there's about 200 tenants open in the mall. So there's definitely plenty of stores to shop at. And some of the stores are amazing. Like they have one of the few Toys R Us's in the United States. Now, I realize Toys R Us is open and been thriving in Canada this whole time, but down here in the United States, there's really only this store, and I think there's one in Times Square. I know they have the little sections in the Macy's stores, but th those aren't really the same thing. Um, but here, there's a legitimate Toys R Us store, and it's got two floors, and I think it's the only Toys R Us in America with two stories, so it is quite special. There are multiple theme parks here and tourist attractions, They've got the DreamWorks Water Park, uh, Nick Universe, which is the indoor amusement park. There's a Sea Life Aquarium, an arcade, an ice skating rink, an indoor ski slope. There's the Blast 7D interactive attraction. They've got an Angry Birds indoor mini golf, the Dream Wheel, which is this huge Ferris wheel, and a Legoland. This place also has the absolute biggest food court I've ever seen. I mean, the food court is seriously about the same size as the mall that it's in my hometown, so it's huge. When it comes to retail stores, they have pretty much everything you can imagine. All the high-end retailers are here. Armani, Apple, Gucci, Zara, Louis Vuitton, Saks Fifth Avenue. So this mall is well suited for all the, the rich people that come over from New York City to visit. So this mall is pretty interesting to me. I mean, it's the second largest mall in the entire United States. The only one larger is the Mall of America in, I think it's Minnesota. So I want to talk about, I guess, the history of the development of this particular mall. When the Mills Corporation first envisioned this, it was actually called Xanadu. And what's crazy to me is the mall was pretty much built as Xanadu, and it looked completely different. It was pretty much done, I think, around 2014, 2015. But several of these developers went bankrupt before they could actually completely open it. So it never did open to the public. After several of these bankruptcies, Triple uh, Five Entertainment bought it which is the same group that owns the Mall of America. And as soon as they acquired Xanadu, they basically stripped it down to the studs and tore off the exterior and interiors. They basically just used the steel shell of the mall. It's mostly because Xanadu looked like a Mills Corporation mall with the bright, loud colors. And Triple Five, they prefer more the muted colors like white and silver. After two decades of building this thing, multiple companies going bankrupt, they basically built this mall twice, which is why it cost $5 billion to finish. So yeah, I'm completely fascinated by this place just because of the story behind it. As a shopping mall, this place really isn't that great. The, the problem is the stores are so spread out from one another, 
and you know some of these sections of the mall have two or three levels and then you know certain corridors will won't have a single store so for example if you want to shop at like Saks Fifth Avenue and then go to Nick Universe you gotta walk and walk, and according to my cell phone, it was over a half mile. There are almost no stores in between Saks Fifth Avenue and Nick Universe because, you know, Saks is on the side of the mall where it's almost all empty corridors. You know, I get it. They're trying to segment all these high-end retailers on top of each other. So all the really expensive places are kind of like, I guess, on the north side of the mall. There aren't a lot of high-end retailers anymore, so it's like 80% empty storefronts. Me personally, I came here mostly to experience the theme parks. I was curious about Nick Universe. I wanted to see what the indoor amusement park looked like. And it's a nice park. It just, um, I can't imagine how they're making money because attendance seemed pretty bad. I was here on a weekend in the, the summer, so this should be uh, one of the peak seasons for the area. And it just, it was pretty dead. Although for me, because I'm kind of selfish, I liked being on all the roller coasters by myself. But at the end of the day, I don't think they're drawing the crowds that they thought they would. Let me talk about some of the highlights for me. I really enjoyed the Sea Life Aquarium. That was really nicely executed. Um, the food court was awesome. I think they have like 25 or 30 restaurants in the food court. It was just amazing to have that many choices uh, for lunch. It's a shame that that company that was developing the movie theater went out of business because this place could really use a movie theater. Well, those are pretty much all my thoughts on the American Dream Mall. For the rest of this video, I'm just going to play a little music so you can see...